Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Razek at CM Trading. Today is October 21st, 2022. And today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, boom, Japanese yen hits new record lows, 150 versus the dollar. There's no major economic event scheduled for today. But as we look at the corporate earning reports coming out today, American Express and Verizon, two major American companies coming out with their quarterly earnings. Now, next week, we've got a bunch of numbers coming out from the FANG stocks besides Netflix and Microsoft coming out with their quarterly earnings. Now looking at the various markets, starting out with the forex symbols, the major pairs flatline. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq gave up their gains and then traded lower. Looking at commodities, gold continues to slide, while oil also did the same as the Dow by pushing up and then giving up its gains. Looking at the stocks, they continue to be weak. And lastly, Bitcoin pretty much flat. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. This is where I like to become a little bit Texan and say, who we? I mean, look at this. This has just been a monster. And we've been following it almost every day. And we kind of, you know, kind of mentioned it on Facebook several times. And, you know, if you haven't caught up into it now, it's free money sometimes. Okay, this is literally free money. This is just giving it away and printing money on the screen. I mean, look at the daily it's just been so strong and just continues to go up higher and higher weekly. I mean, that is just orbit. I mean, it's just like a, it's a rocket ship, you know. So it's on its highs. 150 is a major number. So if it doesn't clear it, okay, if it doesn't get to 155, I know that that's a big number. 150 to 155 is a big number. But if you consider 114 to 150 where we're at, another five points, and that's such a big deal. Now, the point is that this is 150 psychologically is a very big number, okay? Once it hits 150, and then it can hit 160, and then who's to say it's not going to hit two? So with that said, with that said, not necessarily are we going to go there today, but keep an eye on a possible fade move as this kind of corrects itself at this 150. There's going to be a lot of resistance at this 150, so keep that in mind. Now looking at the other pairs, the euro pretty much flatlining here, and the GBP kind of flatlining on the bottom side, and so did the Australian dollar. So not much doing there. Okay, the Canadian dollar also, I just want to view it on a monthly chart because it has this resistance at this 130 seven ish level and not going higher you look at it on a monthly level it did get a lot of volatility this past month but no direction okay so it's restraining itself from going higher but it's also not going lower either okay so keep that in mind as this is at these levels now looking at commodities gold continues to slide we're at support 1620 is where we're at if we look at a weekly just give us a perspective we can continue going down to 1587 so keep that in mind as this is continuously going to retrace now looking at the indices the dow jones look at it right now trading at 30,305 down 400 points from our potential move yesterday of 30,700 we're having some issues getting higher over here so just keep that in mind as we're trading this going into the latter part of october and then going into November. Now, looking at the NASDAQ, we're pretty much flatlined here at 11,000 also as it's made its correctional moves. Now, looking at the individual stocks, Alcoa on its close to its lows. It bounced yesterday, but ultimately it is close to its lows. If we look at Apple, also sideways trading and close to its lows, this is going to have its corporate earnings next week. If you look at Facebook, still very weak. Microsoft, still very weak. Okay, they're all in the bottom of the range, and we have corporate earnings reports coming out next week. So this is really very important information. If we look lastly at Intel, still showing some weakness. Okay, we're only about three points or two points really from our all-time lows, as this is really having some struggling time jumping. Okay, JP Morgan also making lower lows and lower highs, and that's what's creating a downwards trend. And if that's going to continue, then we're going to see it continue again on the larger scale. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, Bitcoin is just pretty much dead. Okay, I mentioned this over the past couple of days. I'm not watching it. I'm just watching it because it's a popular symbol. But really, all intents and purposes, focus on the U.S. markets. That's where the money is being made. Japanese yen, 
That's where the money's being made. Can't focus on everything. Not everything's going to give you money all the time. So just keep that in light. This is Fred Rayzak. I want to wish you guys a great training day and a beautiful weekend.